Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you are watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll talk about building websites with two very different platforms, WordPress and Squarespace. The website you're looking at right now is AhmedDon.com. Uh, which I just built recently uh, not even a month uh, ago and this website was built on using Squarespace platform now for those who have been following me for for the last few years you know that uh, I have several websites and domains and my all other websites or most of my websites were made using Word, WordPress platform. For example, uh, my most popular website, uh, this is one of the websites I hold and this this is the this is by for the most popular website. Uh, this was built about I believe seven or eight years ago and this was built using platform WordPress. Now there's no doubt that WordPress is the best platform out, out there uh, building we websites because it gives you tremendous flexibility and basically you can do anything with your website when you have WordPress. But uh, all this flexibility and being the best comes with a price. If you are not familiar with programming, coding or other technical stuff for example FTP MySQL databases or HTML CSS then you're gonna have a hard time maintaining WordPress website you need to have a programmer or for those who have many websites possibly more than one programmer standby to do daily required uh, maintenance or fixing all the time and the one thing with WordPress websites is that they always break and then the, there are always hackers who are you know accessing the uh, server which is hosting your uh, websites or there are so many problems all the time and the codes are breaking and you have to have programmers fixing them and keep uh, to keep your websites running uh, they have to be updated all the time and also for that, you need to have a programmer or programmers stand by doing all the work for you. Unless you know programming and all these codes I just mentioned, it's a hassle and a lot of work to maintain and build websites made on WordPress platform. Now, I'll tell you this, that most of the big websites uh, and Approximately um, 30 to 40 uh, percent websites run on the internet. They're built on WordPress platform. So this has to be the best or one of the best platforms. But as I mentioned, uh, being the best has its prices, and you'd require programmers or high knowledge in uh, programming or coding to keep the uh, websites running. So for me, uh, I have uh, three or four websites running on WordPress right now. And for the past five, seven years, maintaining them and running them, it's been a hassle. I had to uh, chase around programmers to fix them, to update them, and when I had to change web hosting company from when one company to another company, then I had to seek uh, the help of programmers so it's been a lot of hassle and there's always uh, a lot of money involved doing all this work. For example, the website you're looking at right now, adonjournal.com, the form you're looking at, uh, the design you're looking at, this is my actually own design. However, in order to come to this point, come to this design you're looking at, uh, I'll just scroll down a little bit to show you the whole site. Uh, it took about three to five years work to 
bring it to this point what you're looking at right now so it looks very nice very neat and clean uh, it has a friendly interface and lots of nice features and there's a slider right here uh, so it has everything but to come to this point it took me about three years or more and actually I lost track of how many programmers worked on this from the scratch but I can remember at least three of them uh, who worked on this website uh, one after another to you know bring it to this point and the amount of money I spent on this site has been a lot of money so for example if I do a uh, conservative estimate then I have spent about three to five thousand dollars just to get to this point uh, what you're looking at right now although it may not look that expensive but there are so many changes so many uh, changing of web hosting company because WordPress websites are has have to be hosted on a hosting company uh, although WordPress itself the software is free but you need to host it with someone and then they have their cost and if you change from one company to another company that's another cost so all this cost me uh, three thousand uh, dollars possibly more I would say three to five thousand dollars and that's the final look you're looking at final uh, design final features you're looking at right now so it's been a loss a lot of hassle and a lot of work a lot of money running around after programmers tremendous uh, headaches so after doing this for many years seven uh, seven years I'd say I got tired of it and I wanted to try something different so this time instead of uh, starting a new website ameddon.com which is right here so instead of going to WordPress I wanted to try a very different platform which is Squarespace now the main difference between uh, Squarespace and WordPress is that a Squarespace does everything for you so you don't need to worry about hosting you don't need to about hiring programmers you don't need to uh, worry about MySQL databases you don't need to worry about accessing FTP changing files updating websites all those things so everything is done all you need to have a domain custom domain either you can buy the domain from Squarespace or if you have domain from other providers such as GoDaddy then you can just connect your domain with uh, from GoDaddy to or, uh, Squarespace, which is very easy. So comparing, uh, if you compare uh, Ameddon.com and here AaronJournal.com, they look very similar, or they look, you know, very modern websites with nice features. And this one took five years to come to this point. Money spent three to five thousand dollars, possibly more. Uh, lots of hassle headaches and running around after programmers frustrations lots of uh, issues however the website you're looking at ameddon.com if I told you how long it took me to achieve this design you're not gonna believe me or you would even laugh at me so here it is it took me only one weekend so Friday night and Saturday night done so I used a template uh, Squarespace has several templates uh, you can choose between templates and you can switch between templates which is very easy so all I had to do choose a template and added these uh, boxes or these features which are all done you have to just dr uh, drag and drop so I'll just uh, go through the website to show you uh, let's scroll down here okay so see here's my archive section here's a recent post here's YouTube uh, button or YouTube page here's my Instagram here's my Google ad my books my banner uh, everything 
So very modern looking website, very clean interface, user friendly, everything. But the surprising fact is that to achieve this looks and this design, it took me only two nights. And money spent, not $3,000, not $2,000, not $1,000. I spent only the fees, annual fees, Squarespace charges to have an active account. And when you pay annually, the cost is, I believe, $12 per month. So what you're looking here right now, it cost me $12. And this nice website, I built it over, not overnight, actually two nights by myself, without any programmer, without anyone's help, just reading all the help files and online videos, watching online videos, uh, how to build website on Squarespace. So everything I did by myself, and it took me two nights, $12, and this is the result. And here, my older website, edonjournal.com, high traffic website, uh, age about seven years, possibly more. And in order to come to this looks or design, it took me five years running after many programmers money is spent three to five years and is still spending on any anytime there's something breaks down and something I have to fix it here I cannot do anything I can do very minor changes for example I just know how to move these section from one place to another on top of each other I know how to put this line here and I, I, I know how to change the code inside to change ads and stuff but except that anything breaks, any issues, anything, I have to call a programmer. And the way they charge, they would do just a small fixing. And they would charge you at least $50, uh, which even may not happen. Uh, if you are lucky, then you'll find someone who will charge you $50 to fix something. Could be $100 for very small work. Probably wouldn't take even like you know 5-10 minutes if you know how to do it. But because most of the people or I do not know or do not have in-depth knowledge of programming, CSS, FTP server, MySQL, SQL databases, all sort of stuff. So it's a lot of expensive and hassle to maintain and run a website on WordPress. So the reason I'm doing this video uh, that uh, definitely I'm not going to disagree that WordPress is the best uh, platform out there uh, because it gives you tremendous flexibility and basically you can do anything you want with your website. However, it comes with a price and it's costly, a lot of work, hassle, running after programmers, all sort of stuff. And Squarespace may not give you that many options, may not give you tremendous flexibility. However, there are points when you do not want that many options, when you do not want to be that much flexible. You want to stay within the limits uh, Squarespace is giving you because uh, that way, if you break something or if you have limited uh, options, then it's easier to maintain, it's easier to pick what you want. And then the other thing I didn't mention uh, that with Squarespace, you have live support 24 hours, seven days via email, via chat, uh, which would be only on the week weekdays and if via email is 24 hours every day. So anytime you're using, uh, they have several templates. Uh, so anytime you're using their templates, you're not calling a programmer to break the codes to make you a custom WordPress, uh, sorry, Squarespace website then you have live support right there. You can email them, you can chat with them, Any anything breaks, they'll fix it right away. They'll tell you exactly what to do. For example, I was having problem with uh, this banner here. I displaced it a lot below and I wanted to put it up. I emailed them, I got an answer right away. I had another issue with uh, something here here uh, there's something showing up here i didn't know how to remove that i emailed them they gave me an answer i fixed it right away 
So any anytime any problem, you have support which is not you are not paying additional money for that. It's all included in the plan. So basically, your web hosting company, your uh, platform all in one, and that's Squarespace. So if you want to be hassle free, if you don't want to spend your time and money running after programmers fixing things, then I would suggest Squarespace. Although there may be uh, limitations, you may not achieve lots of things like you could achieve with WordPress. However, uh, that's that's what I want. I had everything. I have been a WordPress veteran for seven years, and I have tried everything, and I'm, I got tired of it. I got tired of running around the programmers, spending money, fixing everything. So now I'm trying a different platform, and this is where what I have, Ameddon.com, and. This is with Squarespace and so far, and the design you're looking at, it's all my creation, uh, drop, drag and drop and uh, changing options, setting, etc., which comes with Squarespace. And I haven't finished uh, adding lots of things here yet, but so far, I have showed this page to lots of my friends, my fans who know me, and everyone was amazed that I can achieve this result in two nights with no, almost no cost. And here, it took me so many years and so much money to achieve this result. So this is just amazing platform with incredible support. And it's just, you know, if you don't want to spend your time maintaining a website, fixing a website, ordering a website, then it's Square space is what you what you should go with. Now I'd like to mention that no one has paid me anything. Uh, all my articles, YouTube uh, videos, they are not sp sponsored by anyone. So whatever I'm telling you, there's no money involved. So I'm just telling you based on my experience. For example, if you watch any of my credit card reviews on my YouTube channel or any other reviews on Adon Journal or here. Uh, never there's any money exchange or never these are paid uh, posts or articles so everything is genuine and honest opinions unbiased opinions and in terms of uh, using Squarespace uh, so I'll tell you the same thing that I, I have been have not been paid by anyone to do this video so this is just my own opinion unbiased and honest opinion Yes, if you want to achieve tremendous flexibility, lots of things, then definitely you should go with uh, WordPress, but you have to have programmers, you have to spend money, it takes time. But if you know programming, uh, if you are a programmer, if you know coding, then you know you shouldn't bother with uh, Squarespace. You can just uh, go with uh, WordPress. For example, the slider you're looking at right now uh, for, if you just refresh this page or just let's move on to a another article and then you'll see the slider it works for a few minutes then it stops for example you will see that the slider starts here right now so here so this is a slider of my book so it will just keep moving so this feature I wouldn't be able to achieve on here on uh, Squarespace for example this is fixed I made this by using their uh, drag and drop option so I wouldn't be able to transfer this or make this same thing on Squarespace but I don't mind you know I'm tired of uh, spending my time money and running after programmers so I just wanted something hassle-free and in the future, I'm thinking of moving all the content from my other websites to amidon.com so I can have a worry-free journey towards providing uh, more content, better feedback and everything. For example, when I, once I was in travel or whenever I travel, I'm 
going to let's say Jamaica or Asia or other places and it just bothers me that oh maybe my WordPress website is going to be down and who am I am I going to call right now because I'm not even home so I don't want to have that type of uh, uh, headaches anymore so that's why I decided to try a new platform Squarespace and so far I'm very happy with the result uh, all the people I know everything everyone was amazed uh, by the looks and everything and it's so easy to use and you're dealing with only one company or possibly two if, if your domain is uh, with the GoDaddy or someone else however that, that, that's not a big deal because you don't have to deal with any hosting company you don't have to deal with any plugins you don't have to deal with uh, Cloudflare you don't have to deal with other third-party company you know, for antivirus and you don't have to deal with so many things so all-in-one package simple uh, it's simple easy to maintain and it's ori free so that's my take on Squarespace so I'll end this video right now uh, if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up and there will be more reviews like this and keep an eye on my channel that's all for now thank you